Hiya. Today I'm going to show you how to decoupage, hello Henry, this table. Um, you don't need that many materials. Um, I picked up this glue, um, I think it was from Hobbycraft. I think you can pick them up off uh, any other craft suppliers, the range, Amazon, eBay, things like that. I've also got this beautiful paper. As you can see, I quite like my peacocks in the garden, so I'm going to be giving this a little bit of a spruce um, and changing the top, which has got a little bit dirty over time while it's been in the garden. So this will just give a nice, jazzy little peacock layer to my table. I've got a brush and some sheets. So what I'm going to do first is spread a nice thin layer of the glue on top of the table. I've also got to make sure that I cover the sides as well because I'll be bringing the paper down to overlap the edges of the table. So now it's the fun bit. With your paper you can either tear it off into little strips or you can cut them, it's up to you. The really nice thing about this paper is you can overlap. So if you don't like a particular part of the pattern, you can go over it with another piece. You can have it any sort of size that you want as well. You can start off with some larger squares just to start to get a bit of coverage. And then later on you can rip off a few smaller pieces to get the desired effect. So you just stick your first piece on, pop a little bit of glue over the top and then you can add your next piece. I'm just going to be starting by going round the edge just to make sure that I've got all that bit done first and then I can move into the centre um, to do the rest of the pattern. You might get a few little ridges and creases as you're doing this, but that's fine. You can smooth them out as you're going along. And like I said earlier, you might be able to uh, overlap pieces if you don't like a particular part of the pattern. At the moment, this is just getting the edges all stuck down nicely. As I'm working my way along, I've got a sponge nice thing about this table is it lifts up so if there is any glue that's getting underneath you can just give it a really quick wipe and just get rid of any excess so that's all the edges done so now it's just time to work my way into the middle and get the pattern and design that i like to get the finished result Before we put some uh, ceiling spray on it. Table's nice and dry now. I've coated the inside with an old towel so it'll protect the rest of the furniture and I'm just going to coat it with this gloss clear sealer to protect it from the elements.
and now we'll leave it to dry.